Welcome back scholars. Let's go over some of the answers. I'm going to go over two of them and then we'll go ahead and show you the answer sheet. Let's go to Nearpod here. And the first one here, we have 215 and 6 tenths times 10. We have one zero, so that's one digit that we're going to be moving over. So the decimal is right here. Since I'm multiplying, I'm adding a digit, so I'm going to move the decimal over to the very end, which gives me the answer 2,156. One of the other ones that I wanted to go over is one that might have been a little bit more difficult for some of you because you're multiplying by 10,000. But if we look at it, we have 4,315 thousandths or 10,000, excuse me, and we're multiplying it by 10,000. Well, if I have 10,000 has one, two, three, four digits that are zero, which lets me know that I'm going to be moving the decimal over four digits. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, which is going to give me the answer 4,315. So let's go back to our slides so that we can see the answers to the rest of those questions. As you can see, the first one was 2,156. The second one was 36,700. The third one is 436,700. The one we just did is 4,315. And then the last one we multiply by 100 makes it 23 and 5 tenths. I'm gonna wait five more seconds so that you can look at that and make sure that you get the same answers. Excellent. Way to go. Let's go on. Hey, it's time for our objective. Can I have a brave scholar who wants to be a leader and is not afraid to speak out loud? Pausing in three, two, one. Excellent. Yes. Love the loud voices. Thank you for volunteering and thank you for being such great leaders. Students will be able to Multiply a decimal fraction by a single digit whole numbers using an area model or a place value chart. Multiplica una fracción decimal por números enteros de una solo dígito usando un modelo de área o una tabla de valor posicional. Vocabulary, you're gonna pause here for about, I'm gonna say, 15 seconds give you a chance to make sure you have it in your notebook. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, we're going to go into our flex can. We're going to be working these out. Well, actually, I'm going to do it straight on the slide because it's going to be easier and neater for me. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to multiply a whole number times a decimal fraction, which is three times two tenths. I'm going to use the place value, and in the we do, you and I will be using the area model. So let's look at this. We're saying we have three units of two tenths. So let me go ahead and draw this out. And if you can see, I have two units of two tenths, one unit of two tenths, second unit of two tenths, and then the third unit of two tenths. That gives me a total of six tenths. If I multiply it on the algorithm, standard algorithm, it is two times three is six, zero, have one decimal, one digit, there's the decimal. So that's my answer. The next one, I'm gonna wait here, see if you can give me the answer. Pausing in three, two, one. 
Excellent. Yes, you did fabulous. The answer is three sets of three tenths. So I'm going to have three dots three times. When I look at it, it comes out to nine tenths. So we're done with that one. Excellent. I'm going to give you one here. It is four times three tenths. I want you to t think about it. Give me the answer. Excellent. Yes. Let's see. We're going to have three tenths four times. But you know what? I also remember that ten tenths is equal to one. So if I circle that, I can move it over into the ones place. So move ten tenths to the ones column. And that leaves me with one and two tenths. So multiplying three tenths times four equals one and two tenths. Excellent job, guys. You did very well. What I want you to do is I want to make sure that you learn what you just, what I just taught you. So let's uh, go ahead and do a draw. It. You're going to have two minutes to do it in. Pause in the video in three, two, one. Pause.